According to Forbes, the reason why 90% of potential business buyers fail is because most small business buyers are first timers. Most business buyers have never gone through the process of buying a business. These newbie buyers may even have the acumen to operate the business. They may already own businesses too, but they have zero experience when it comes to the business buying process. They spend hours endlessly searching through businesses for sale listings, trying to work out which one might be right for them to buy. And then on the assumption they find a business after endless searching, they are then not prepared to properly question the seller. They don't know the right research to do, how to value a business, nor how to carry out a due diligence check either. And this is leaving aside that they are also often not aware of the other ways to find businesses to buy. They don't know how to fund the acquisition. Once they discover that banks don't like business acquisition loans. But even if they find a bank that will lend them the money, they still need to find a deposit or they need to find collateral for the lending to take place or use a government backed program instead. But these take ages to complete. And then finally, they don't know how to structure the deal to reduce the risks if the deal goes wrong. And most think they can rely on the business broker to guide them through the process. But it's the seller who pays them their commission and it's the seller who is their client, not the buyer. So it's in the broker's interest to get as much for the business as they can. Trusting or relying on a business broker is no better than relying on an estate agent to trust when you're buying a property. Most brokers overvalue businesses. So if you rely on the broker, you're guaranteed to overpay on price. Buying a business is a massive decision and when it's done correctly will bring big returns and an enormous upside, but you do it wrong, it can have a horrific downside too. It's possible to guess your way through the process as I did when I bought my business, which was a fitted furniture business with sales at the time of over 1.6 million pounds or roughly $2 million. But it took way longer than it should have done and I made mistakes along the way. Had I known then what I know now, the process would have been much quicker, that's for sure. And I would not have made the mistakes I made either. The successful business buyer takes time to educate themselves. They get themselves a mentor to assist them in the process, a person who has done it before and has bought a business. And if you follow the right process, once you understand the steps to buy a business, you are likely to beat the statistics and acquire a business that will thrive under your ownership. If you have any questions on this topic about buying a business or on any other aspect about the process involved in buying a business, please drop a comment below. And always remember that no question is a stupid question. If you don't know it, you don't know it. And by having the answer to a question you have might be all it takes to move to the very next step in your journey to buy a business. Take care and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.